Brexit. This is a message to all of you Remainers out there. To all of you who wish to be looked after from cradle to grave by government. First of all, there is a truth associated with government that you deliberately seem to wish to ignore. And that is that government always eventually destroys everything that it lays its self-serving hands upon. I mean, just look at the current state of the United Kingdom, for instance. The entire infrastructure of our nation is relentlessly continuing to break down. Our road system is in a terrible mess. Our national health system is in a terrible mess. Our army, our air force and our navy are all in a terrible mess. And yes, our police and fire services are also in a terrible mess. And all because the United Kingdom is now up to its proverbial eyeballs in debt. In fact, our national debt is now into the many trillions of pounds, into the many thousands of billions. So please, do not try to tell me that the UK is a rich nation, as rich the UK is most certainly not. I mean, did you know that when a child is born in the United Kingdom, that that child automatically has a debt of around £30,000 stamped upon its forehead? A debt that the child is in no way responsible for having created. But a debt that the child will nonetheless be both harassed and bullied to repay during its lifetime through one form of government taxation or another. A national debt that also never seems to decrease in size, but which certainly continues to increase with every passing day. And yes, as government continually increases in size, so do all of the problems that are associated with government. You see, most do not seem to realise that government does not in fact have any money of its own as government is of course completely unproductive in an economic sense. A truth that in turn means that in order for government to continue to exist, government must steal what it needs in order to survive from the productive part of its host economy. You see, government is in fact little more than a parasite, and the greater in size government becomes, the more of a drain on a nation's precious resources it becomes. So you see, to expect to move from our national governmental structure that has already made a terrible mess of everything and which already costs the UK taxpayer an astronomical amount of money to another governmental structure that is even greater in size and that has even greater running costs associated with it is nothing less than madness. I mean did you know that when the UK ruled over almost two-thirds of the globe that there were in fact just 4,000 people working for the UK government? And that is when we were at our most productive in an economic sense, when we manufactured and sent goods to every corner of the globe. Now compare that to the almost 280,000 that currently work for the UK government. And this is at a time when our manufacturing industry has been completely decimated. Now, there is another very important fact that you need to understand. And that is that the economic strength of any nation is reflected in the relative strength of that nation's unit of currency. And by that I mean, when the UK was at its most productive and our government was at its smallest, our national currency was then the envy of the entire world. In fact, the word sterling, the name of our national currency, then stood for quality and strength. Two words that today's British pound could in no way ever be associated with, as I am sure you know from your own hard-earned experience. As you continue to see the purchasing power, the value of the pound in your pocket continue to plummet to ever lower levels. Our British pound that is now all but worthless. Now, 
There is a very good reason why government has continued to grow in size, along with all of those burdens that are associated with it. And that is because far too many individuals have mistakenly abdicated responsibility for their own lives, and so gifted that responsibility to the politicians, to government. A terrible mistake that must eventually result in complete governmental collapse. And why is that? Well, ultimately, all responsibility rests with the individual. It does not rest with the state. And in order for all responsibility to eventually find its way back home, all of those places where all of that said misplaced responsibility has ended up need to be seen to fail, and to fail quite spectacularly as well. For only in that way will those who have mistakenly abdicated responsibility for their own lives finally come to their senses and say enough is enough at which point they will once more begin to accept full responsibility for their own lives something that you can do now by seeing the truth of what i have spoken of here and changing your position in order to help reduce the size of government and so reduce the size of the burden on we the people government must be Government must again be placed in its correct position, which is as the servant of the people. And through right education, government must never be allowed to become the master ever again. Peace to you, Andrew.